See how it does that night rider thing. Alright. So now we got the chip in it completely clean. We know we got power. The cable's hooked up correctly. Now, right underneath here, there's going to be a little reset button. You're going to hit that reset button. Then it's going to start flashing again. I always do that just to make sure everything's going good. So now, what we want is all the switches down, except for the third one third switch up, all the rest down, to pull a valid dump off your PS3. And that's the, that dump we're going to do. We're going to patch that, and that's what's going to jailbreak your PS3, or make it on 3.55. So, one, two, third one up, all the other ones down. Let me just reset that again, since I moved the buttons. Now, this is where it gets tricky. A lot of times, you're going to get invalid dumps. You'll have error codes, like one, two, or three lights will start blinking. That means you have an error. Most of the time, it's just because your E3 flasher isn't secured down to your NOR chip. So this top red button right there, we're going to hit that. We're going to try to pull a dump off it. Now, each light's going to light up one by one all six lights. If you get flashing lights, that means there's a problem. So let's see what happens. This is only going to take a couple minutes. All right, it looks like it's pulling the valid dump off. Fuck yeah, we got it the first time. That's very rare. Hell yeah. Then once all the lights light up, it's gonna do this night rider motherfucking thing. It's gonna keep going back and forth. That's when you know you got a legit dump. Fuck yeah. We just got a valid dump. Now we gotta check it. Make sure everything looks good on the dump, and then we can see if we can patch it. We're gonna, I'm gonna put my patches in there, and that's what's gonna make a jailbreakable. So, after you get that thing flashing like that, then we're gonna have to kill the power on it. Whenever you're jailbreaking, pulling dumps. If that power shuts off on you, your console is bricked. But you, I can unbrick consoles. Just takes a little while. You don't want to have to do this shit. All right. So now we gotta pull the power cable. I'm just gonna yank that fucker right out. Give me one second. All right, so pull that power cable. <clears throat> I do have a switch, but I don't use it. I just pull it out. Um, I have a whole E3 SATA docking station. I'll get more into that in another tutorial. Grab your card, go to the computer. So now, 
come on the computer. Plug this in. We want to see if we got a valid dump now. Let me close these windows and open up. Right on it. All right. Okay, so it failed. Now let's see what it failed for. All right, so this looks promising. I'm going to show you guys right now what happened. Take the webcam, bring it over here. As you can see, I took the BKPS3 bin folder. I dragged it and I dropped it right in. And we got two bad checks right there. Most people would say <clears throat> that you can't use this, but that's bullshit. We got an ROSO hash and an ROS1 hash. Both of those are bad, but it's not true. Those are all right. Even if those are bad, you can still use them. So this is still a good dump. We're going to patch it. Close that tool. Let's open this up. Now we get. <clears throat> Alright, so we gotta take that and now we gotta patch it. So let me grab my patch tool and I'll show you guys how to patch it. Get out of here, go to my jailbreak tools. Now we need. <clears throat> our PS3 nor